Hi there, it's Brandon from Virtual DJ back with another tip of the day. Now as a DJ, in order to build your brand and increase your exposure, there's no better tool than having a presence on social media. And Virtual DJ comes with a powerful video broadcasting capability that lets you stream your mix live on Facebook and other social media networks in order to build up a strong fan base. And best of all, you can do it with just a few simple clicks. Here's how. First, open Virtual DJ and click on the Settings button. Then click on the Broadcast tab, then click on Video. Here, you can choose which social media network you want to broadcast to. Since we're broadcasting to Facebook today, let's select Facebook from the Stream 2 drop-down box. Now, we need to enter our unique Facebook stream key. To get this, simply click on the link and a web browser will open. If not already, log into your Facebook account and you'll be taken to your Facebook Live control panel page. Now, click on the Create Live Stream button. On the next page that loads, you'll be presented with various options for your live stream. On the side, you set whether to post to your general timeline or a specific group or event. You can also write an about description of your stream, set up a title tag, create polls, and other interactive items. When you are finished setting up these options, simply copy the stream key from this page by clicking on the copy button. Now, go back to the Virtual DJ Settings window and paste the stream key by right-clicking in the Stream Key box and selecting Paste. Once the stream key is copied, click on the Start Broadcast button. When the box turns blue and shows Video Broadcast Enabled message, then you have successfully connected to the Facebook Live server. Now go back to the Facebook web page and you'll see a preview of your video. When you are ready to start your live stream, click on the Go Live button. You are now broadcasting live for the entire world to watch and listen to. So, let's get back into Virtual DJ and get something going on for our audience. Go ahead and load some tracks and start your mix. Now, let's show you just a few quick examples of what you can do video-wise with your live stream. To change video effects and toggle between sources, click on the Video tab in the Center Mixer section. Click on the Video Source drop-down arrow to view the different sources to choose from. By default, Virtual DJ will enable the Shader Toy plugin when you start your broadcast. To change to a different shader, click on the gear icon next to the shader selection in the menu. Now you can manually change the shader type by clicking on the items in the window, or simply enable the auto change option to have Virtual DJ do it for you. You can also enable video skins to visually show your mix by clicking on the center video out window and selecting use video skins. Now your audience can see song titles, fader movements, button presses, and other performance tricks that you are doing. Another cool feature is to use your webcam to live stream yourself using your gear. To do this, click on the video source drop-down box and enable the camera plug-in. Now, Virtual DJ will broadcast the feed from your attached camera so everyone can see your DJ skills. As you can see, Virtual DJ makes it simple and easy to broadcast to Facebook and other social media sites. A quick note about copyright issues. Depending on your location and type of music you play, you may occasionally see your broadcast being stopped because of licensing issues, but the good news is Facebook recently signed a deal with all the major labels to get their rights on broadcasting licensed music. So this should happen less and less as Facebook finishes to implement this new deal. That'll do it for this tip of the day we hope you found it helpful if you have an idea that you'd like to see in our next tip email tip of the day at virtualdj.com